Hey, it's Kylie Cat here, and um, I thought I'd do a quick haul video from the doll show from the weekend. Um, I didn't get much footage because, and I shouldn't say, like, I, I really didn't get any footage um, from the doll show because it didn't have a lot of, you know, difference from any other doll show. So, um, most of the footage that anyone would have gotten um, was almost exactly the same as every other doll show that we've been to. So, um, I'm going to show you what I got, but um, before I do that, you know, there was, you know, the, I, I don't think I got around to doing some details um, with my Laura. Um, she's got beautifully painted red hair. Um, she is wearing the the rose baby um, onesie and then she's got this old-fashioned um, light tunic type thing on it's a light pink with um, an embroidered bow and flowers on it on um, the what would be her right side our left side um, and it's got beautiful um, edging in that um, embroidered type um, stitching um, and four pink buttons um, down the front of the tunic. Uh, I did get her a bracelet. I get almost all of my girls have a bracelet from Jacqueline um, and I can link her website um, down below but I got her a bracelet um, from Jacqueline. The only baby who doesn't have a bracelet from Jacqueline is Vanessa. Um, Vanessa got hers from the uh, Minnesota meetup that I went to. And then I also wanted to show you guys um, Vanessa's or uh, Laura's incredible feet. Um, you know how I am about baby feet. And her toes have been so much fun to play with. Um, and then also her birthmark, um, which is right there on her leg. Um, it is the same birthmark that I have right there on my arm. So um, you can kind of sort of see it. I'm using one hand to film, so I can't point it out. But you can kind of see where that one... Um, matches that one and that's on Kirk as well um, we tried to get it on Caitlin but um, it didn't work very um, easily so I might have to get that redone um, so at the doll show um, I got a okay, let's try to back this up just a little bit so you can get an idea of what it looks like it's um kind of a uh, uh, what do they call those um, well her head would go in here and it would be like a uh, um, like a wrap um, that would go over the front of her which is what they would have had for for babies um, in the 1800s you know besides blankets um, as they got older um, they had these. So this will be for uh, Laura. Um, it's in a pale yellow. It does have a musty scent, which is not unexpected of, you know, something that would be this old and would have been stored. So this will need a wash before I put on on her. Um, it's slightly rough material on the outside, but a softer, um, more silkier feel on the inside. So I don't have to worry about it damaging her paint if I um, when I do put it on her when it gets cooler so um, I got that for maybe like two bucks I got a small pillow um, I find myself sometimes propping my baby's heads up with stuffed toys um, if they don't seem like um, like their heads are up enough um, I usually put it behind a blanket, but as you can see, I mean, it's small, it's silk, it's perfect. So I got that for like a buck. So, 
Um, so reborn dolls are not the only types of dolls that I'm into. I did find this one, um, which reminded me of another doll that me and my sister played with when we were younger. It is all, um, vine, well, kind of a plasticky vinyl, maybe a soft or a hard silicone, I guess. Um, it's, it's smooth, um, but it's got the sticky feel like possibly like a hard silicone would have. And it's got the whole outfit on, including the little booties with the old kind of, um, hair bands that I remember putting in my hair when I was a child. I don't know if you could see that really well, but yeah, that helps. So, um, I remember having those in my hair when I was a, a little kid. So I just thought that this one was something at $2 I, d I couldn't pass, um, pass on it. Um, the lady did try to sell me the entire box, which was, um, funny. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 I'm just interested in the one. So, um, I also got these booties, which I put up against Laura's feet to make sure that they would fit um they're probably not going to be worn by laura um they'll probably be worn by chakotay because it's got um like a baby donald duck with a train and yeah that was the price two dollars um i just thought that these were too cute and they're in new condition like they've never been worn so um that was actually one of the first items that i purchased so I also got a bottle and if you look really closely at it, it's got kittens and balls of yarn. Um, yeah, that doesn't really help putting it against the white background. So this one was marked $1.50, but um, she only had me pay a dollar for it. But I like the kitties on it and it's got it's, it's definitely older because what I did was I took the top off. Hang on a second. And when you look at the nipple, it's got that crisscross um, cut in it. So that's one of the older types of nipples, like ones that my younger brothers who are now in their late 20s would have had. So what I'm going to just do is I'm going to hang on to the nipple, but I'm going to trade it out for one of these no-hole nipples that you can get. I think you can get them on, on um, oh, what is that called? Um, Bountiful Baby. So I'm just going to, I'm going to hang on to the nipple, but I'm going to trade it out if I ever use it. Um... These are similar to Jelly Cats. What is that? Oh, Whisker. Okay. These are similar to Jelly Cats in that they have that beanbag bottom so that they can sit up. I have a Halloween one, and this one um, could be possibly more of a Christmas one because it's wearing a red um, jumpsuit type thing. And it just Velcros in the back with the tail sticking out. So, um... I really like these kind of cats. Um, just seem to be drawn to them. So I was happy that it was there. Um, white paws, white nose, white, one fully white ear, one ear with just white on the inside, a pink nose. And um, the paws are white. Um, and then it's got that, that stitching to replicate the fingers and toes on, you know, the, the paws accordingly so um something else that i got at the show was this dress now it's a small dress like you you could probably see it you know kind of fit in her but i was thinking more for the doll that i had when i was a child um it's rough it's in rough shape because over on this side you can see where some of the strings are coming loose, but I really liked how soft the um, the lace is, and I really liked that that light sage green color that it had on the under part of it. Now, obviously, it needs to be I wouldn't say iron because I don't think you can iron this material, um, but possibly I could steam it 
Um, my showers are usually hot enough to steam anything. So I'm thinking if I hang it up in the shower um, a couple times, it should actually iron itself out. Um, and then it won't look bad on the doll that I had from when I was a childhood because this, um, the, the doll that I had and the outfit are both rough looking right now. So, all right, let's see. I did buy another pair of shoes. Um, these are, I, I got them from a booth, um, that has some old fashioned type items there. I was hoping that this would work for Laura, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't tried them on and I don't want to try them on now with only one hand. Uh, but they are all white, um, with a, uh, kind of a dress shoe type look, um, with a strap that goes over the, the top of the foot. And then on the, the toes are covered. And then on the toes, it's got the, the white bow with a little tiny, like, fl lace flower and kind of a lace, um, trim around, I wouldn't say the tip of the toe, but where the, uh, the, um, toes match, you know, come up to the foot. So, um, they're really cute. Um, we'll try, have to try them on her later. Um... I did get a doll. Um, this is uh, one that I would say um, from the 50s, um, possibly earlier. Um, the When I picked it up, it had small eyelashes. But the eyelashes ended up falling out throughout the course of the day. Um, it was a doll that was on the clearance table. It's got plastic head with um, dark painted hair. Um, I bought other eyelashes to go on it and I'll have to figure out how to put those on. Um, the outfit that this doll is wearing, the doll actually didn't come with an outfit. So I picked up this outfit knowing that I would end up using it on one of my babies. It's a gown type outfit. Um, and I just ended up just putting it on and so he wasn't naked because I'm not big on naked babies. Um, so I put it on him. It's a little tight, but the gown has um, blue. What is that? Like, I want to say those are blue elephants, pink shoes, yellow shoes, yellow elephants, critter shoes, Trying to see if there's anything else. Oh no, they're all. Well, that that definitely is elephants and shoes. I thought maybe that was a shoe too, but it's not. It's definitely elephants. So, yeah, as you can tell, old-fashioned as well. So, um, I did get some new eyelashes for the doll, and I'll be putting that on. Now, this I got for, for Laura. It's, um, made kind of like a doily. Um, it is a bonnet, though. And I tried it on her before I bought it. Um, it actually frames her face quite nicely. I can't put it on you to show you now, but um, I will show you that later. Um, it did come out to be $4. Uh, but it was really, really cute on her. I'll just have to figure out like what outfits it's going to go with and stuff like that. But it was super cute. So I did end up getting it. Sorry, I'm reaching down to grab things out of the out of the bag. So these are the eyelashes that I got. So I'm gonna have to trim those and then glue those in myself. So those will end up going on him. And I did decide it was a boy. 
I also got this tiny, tiny little rag doll. Um, I'm debating yet whether this is going to be Laura's or not. Um, because Laura in the, the books, the Little House in the Prairie books, she had a rag doll named Charlotte. Um, I haven't decided if she's going to keep this rag doll and name it Charlotte or if she's going to get a kitten and name it Charlotte. We'll have to figure that out as it goes along. Um, I also got a pillowcase with Holly Hobby on it. It's a full-size pillowcase. Um, this is where, you know, you, uh, I folded it up because I put, actually put something in it, but okay. So this is the outer edge and you put the pillow in and it would fit all the way down. So to the bottom, um, not sure how often I'm going to use it cause I don't want it to wear out, but I will be using it. And then I also got this little, um, pewter train which is very detailed um, it is actually glued onto a little piece of paper um, I absolutely love train just about everything about them so I'm trying to get this okay so here now we can see a little bit better the smokestack is bent um, Raptor is going to help me straighten that out and it's got a coal car that one's an empty car, another empty car. Now these do come apart, so it's not broken. Um, it's got a log car and then the caboose, which isn't quite looking like a caboose, but it is a caboose. So um, I thought I'd leave it on, on this paper for now. I'm probably gonna end up gluing this one back down and using it as decoration, most likely in my living room. Um, but it's coming from, and it says Genuine Pewter, um, it says from Desert Treasures and Carefree Arizona. have no idea how old it is, but it is solid pewter. Um, I've known pewter since before I've been in this hobby. It kind of goes along with my gaming hobby. Um, so I knew that this was going to be good pewter and going to be fun to use in um, the decoration of my apartment. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, this is my combined haul. And I do believe everything came under... I think the most expensive thing that I got was this at um, $12. Um, everything else was 5 or less. So I did pretty good, I think, with, with my haul. So um, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.